Hello everybody. I uh, wanted to uh, show you um, our, our kind of base camp first aid kit. Okay, of course we have a uh, medicine uh, cabinet here in the house, so this isn't the main, you know, first aid supplies because we do have a, you know, a whole closet in the hallway. But this is kind of our base camp uh, first aid kit. It's very extensive. I wanted to show you what we have because uh, might help you if you're planning or going through yours. It might be some things I have or have done that maybe you didn't. So, you know, we spent a lot of time on this and I really think it's uh, pretty much done. I think we have everything that we want. So let me go through some of these things. Uh, you know, we kind of put this together. Uh, there are some outer pockets. Let me show you what's in the outer pockets first before we go into it. In fact, I'll open up these two outer pockets and I'll just take them out. Uh, instead of fumbling around with this with one hand, and we'll lay them out here in front of you. Okay, so in those pockets, this, this pocket was just for kind of a, you know, indigestion, uh, gas type of things. So, you know, again, this is uh, for kind of your base camp when we go uh, RVing or uh, car camping. Um, this bag, you know, although it's not real big and not real heavy, you know, I don't think you would take it normally backpacking um, unless you were going to be lugging things in for a base camp type of situation where it would be nice. I mean, I would like to have this. It's very extensive. So, and then in this pocket, uh, you know, we found this out last year when we went car camping, the need for this. Uh, my wife got a urinary tract infection and we had to stop and get things. Luckily, we were near a Walgreens, but uh, we decided, you know, this was something we wanted to have things for taking care of those kinds of problems. So that's just these two outer pockets that we have here. So let's uh, open it up and we'll take a look at what's inside. Okay, and this is what it looks like opened up. You can see there are several different uh, pockets here. And this is all organized based on the type of supplies that we have. So let's, uh, just so it's easier to see what's in here, I'll take out this pocket and this pocket and we'll lay them out here and let's see what we've got. Okay, so this pocket I would call kind of our tools area. Okay, so we have kind of some different tools, first aid tools, or things that would be nice to have. Okay, we have a brush, uh, some earplugs, uh, lots of Q-tips, because again, uh, we could be camping for, you know, a couple weeks at a time sometimes. Okay, file, pen, and we have some uh, little tweezers, uh, small scissors, and nail clipper, real nice nail clipper, which I think is something really important to have in a first aid kit or somewhere that you'd be able to trim your fingernails or toenails to avoid uh, ingrown toenail. And then we also have a sewing kit, basic sewing kit as you can see. Now in this pocket, okay, these are some kind of first aid kits, uh, more non-conventional things. We have an extensive dental kit because we found out on a trip a couple years ago, uh, my wife bit down a piece of popcorn and uh, broke off part of a tooth and you know, we had some problems and luckily we did have some dental equipment but it even gave us more impetus to add even more. So we have three different kinds of uh, emergency dental uh, first aid kits to deal with a lot of different situations. Also have some eye allergy relief which has come in handy. Uh, you get like red eye where your eyes just itch and you over itch them and they almost become infected. This stuff's really good. And a couple emergency chapsticks. So that's, uh, I'm going to put this stuff back in the pockets and then we'll next look at this pocket which is kind of the, uh, you know, scrapes, uh, cuts and types of things like that. Okay, so that was, uh, this is this pocket emptied out as you can see. This is kind of the cuts and wounds section. And of course, uh, I don't have uh, the trauma type of equipment uh, in this bag. This is for first aid, you know, more minor things. The trauma bag, I have a video that uh, I recently did on that, which we would carry also with this. So of course, we have here different sizes of band-aids here, uh, rubber gloves, cotton balls, alcohol prep pads, Okay, antiseptic toilets, several of those. You know, this is very well stocked. We could be out a while. Uh, different types of gauze, triple antibiotic ointment. Uh, we even have a uh, kind of Band-Aid uh, cleansing foam. We have one sting relief pad in here. 
Uh, we have this to stop bleeding. Uh, and we have some gauze and tape. And of course, ladies, you know what those are uh, in case we had an emergency, although we're usually well prepared with that. Okay. And then we have the last big uh, pocket in here, which we will empty out. Has a lot of medications and other types of items that you might need for different colds and flus and and other things. So let's empty this out and we'll put it in front of us. Okay, this pocket actually I think I can show you with it still on the bag. So let's start over here. This is kind of the uh, pain medications. Have some aspirins, although I'd like to get a small aspirin uh, bottle. Just don't have an extra one right now. But those are aspirins, regular strength. We have uh, ibuprofen, a full bottle. And we have uh, regular strength Tylenol, a full bottle. Okay, going over here. This is uh, for coughs. Okay, so like cough medicine. Okay, this is a, uh, a strong pain medication. We even have hemorrhoid rectal cream, although we don't really have that as a problem, but you never know. This is actually for, oh yeah, that's a Benadryl uh, spray. This is actually uh, for our dogs. This is a uh, medical dog foot spray for, you know, if you're out camping or something and you have the dogs and they cut themselves, this is what that's for. And it's good stuff. Okay? And then we have another EpiPen, which we have a couple in our trauma bag as well. Going over here, okay, things like uh, jock itch, okay, or athlete's foot. I have two of these. I really like these powders. Uh, these work better than the creams. Um, so I like having these in there. These are excellent. Highly recommend those. Uh, we have, again, for cough, honey lemon flavored uh, cough suppressants. We have a couple of heating pads. And we have uh, here some other medications for, uh, for diarrhea and um, antihistamines. So we have uh, those covered, pretty good amount of those. And we also have you know, stuffed in here some burn relief, uh, burn relief creams. Well, they're not really creams, I don't think. They're more like little gel packets. And there's even a room in here. You know, we do keep some antibiotics in our fridge. And uh, when we go camping, uh, we might bring an antibiotic uh, bottle in with us just to have, just in case uh, we needed it, in case uh, we thought it was a problem. So, as you can see, we feel like we're pretty well prepared if we go away from home. We feel like we can handle about anything if you combine this, especially with the trauma bag that I showed you on a previous video. So, you know, pretty, pretty think pretty well of this. So, hopefully this uh, helps you out if you're trying to go through your own first aid kit, thinking about it. Hopefully it gave you some ideas and some help. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.